Hey, what's up fellas? If you're just starting your cloud journey, two certifications come up all the time. AWS Cloud Practitioner and Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, AZ900. But the big question is, which one should you start with? In today's video, I'll break them down side by side, what they are, who they're for, exam format, fees, how to study for free, and your potential employer expectations. And in the end, I will give you my most honest opinion. By the way, my name is Asim Khan. I'm an IT manager based here in Silicon Valley, California, with 15 years of real world IT experience. I have interviewed and hired dozens of entry-level IT positions, and I know what works in the industry. Are you ready for this? Let's dive in. So what are these certifications? Both certifications are beginner-friendly foundational certificates that introduce you to cloud computing. AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is offered by Amazon and Azure AZ900 is offered by Microsoft. So who are these certifications for? These certifications are perfect if you are a career switcher, a student, or a recent graduate, IT professional who who wants to level up your game, or even non-technical folks like sales and marketing who need basic cloud awareness. So what is covered in each certification? AWS Cloud Practitioner covers core AWS services such as EC2, S3, RDS, basic cloud concepts, security and compliance, and billing and pricing. On the other hand, AZ900 covers core Azure services, different cloud models such as AAS, PAAS, SAAS, security, privacy, and compliance, Azure pricing, and lifecycle. So let's talk about the exam format. AWS Cloud Practitioner has 65 multiple choice questions. You have 90 minutes to finish, and the passing score is 700 out of 1000. AZ900 has 60 questions. You have 60 minutes to finish. It is also consists of multiple choice questions. Passing score is 700 out of 1000. How much does it cost? Both exams are $100 each. And sorry guys, there is no free retake. If you fail, you have to pay again. AWS Cloud Practitioner is valid for three years versus Azure AZ900 is valid for one year only, but you can renew it online for free by taking a short assessment. How do you study for these certifications? Are there any free resources? Absolutely. You know, when it comes to free, I got your back. Whenever I see a free stuff, I'm the first one in line. For AWS, use AWS Skill Builder website. This is their official website. You can also check out a full course on YouTube channel, Free Code Camp. For Azure training, visit learn.microsoft.com. This is Microsoft official learning platform. It is a gold mine. You can also find a complete course on YouTube by John Savelle. This guy has done an amazing job. Do check it out. All the courses I just mentioned, their links are in my description. Now, how long does it take to prepare for these certifications? You can prepare for these certification in three to four weeks, even if you are starting from the scratch. Now, here is the million dollar question that everybody wants to ask. Are these certifications enough to get you a job? The short answer is no. <laughs> Sorry guys, did I just break your heart? But that is the truth. These are entry level, non-technical certifications. They cover what and why, but they don't cover how. They're great to build your base knowledge, but employers want hands-on skills. They want people who can work on the cloud, not just talk about it. So what do you do next? How do you find a job? For that, you will have to up your game with more advanced certifications and hands-on labs. But this is your base. You need it to get to the next level. Do check out my next video where I break it down for you and tell you which certifications you will need to get to the level where you are employable. So which one should you start with? As an IT manager in Silicon Valley, here's my honest take. You can't go wrong with either of them. They're both in high demand. If you're targeting companies which use Microsoft tools such as Office 365, Active Directory, 
or Azure Cloud, AZ900 will be a perfect fit. If you're more interested in working with startups or companies using AWS Cloud Services, then go with AWS Cloud Practitioner. We're talking about Amazon and Microsoft, two of the biggest name in tech industry. Bottom line, do not overthink. Just pick one and get started with it. Like I said, these certification will not find you a job right away, but, but they will absolutely put you in a position where you can break into the cloud technology and build a solid foundation. Once you have that built, you can target the next level certifications. So that's it, folks. If you find my content helpful, make sure to subscribe and like and drop me a comment. Let me know which track you choose. Stay tuned for my next videos where I'll show you exactly which certification can help you to be job ready in cloud world. Until then, see ya.